<laughs> All right, tonight's topic is we have Relationship Goals Parenting Week. You guys know how I am about reaching our goals this week. And goals does not necessarily mean financial and business and all that kind of stuff. It could be you trying to be a better mom, better, better dad, husband, wife, parent, friend, sibling, all of that kind of stuff. But this particular uh, week, we are getting into the conversation of our children's story, The Life of Special Needs Family. And I have my special guest here, Miss Libra Hicks. Say yes. hey to the people one hello, more time. Hello, 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 everybody. Tell them where they can find you on social media. I am so easy to find. Um, Our Children's Story, Inc. Okay. Libra J. Hicks. Mm -hmm. Fit Mom Fitness Situation. Yes. Yeah. Just, I love yeah. it. I'm all over the place, girl. I love it. I love it. All right. And give them a quick, before we get back into our conversation, a little bit of a quick background about yourself. So, Decatur girl. Yeah. Born and raised in Georgia. I'm With no original. accent. <laughs> at least not tonight. <laughs> well, at least not at this moment. Maybe later on listen, tonight. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> um, I'm a mom, a yes. speaker, podcast host, sneaker designer. Can we talk about the sneaker design? Yes, go for it. What, yes. um, what got you into sneakers specifically? So I'm a boy mom, right? Yes, you are. And I said, well, what could we do? To, like, what could a mom and boys do together? And I'm like, what do we do? Sneakers. Yeah. Yeah, let's do, let's, boom. We, I'm buying Nikes and all of that. Well, let's do sneakers. So. Okay. That's where sneakers came from, and I, and I wanted to do it with a purpose. We, I just didn't show up with shoes. They, sure. I have sneakers that, a sneaker that represents cerebral palsy. Okay. Uh, one for epilepsy, one for autism. We have breast cancer, sickle cell, and Down syndrome coming. Okay. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes. yes. All right. So I want to get into, we had a, a really great conversation about the various dynamics of being a mom with special needs and kind of when you found out and things of that nature. Um, let's talk about, cause you said you were married at the time. Yes. How did that show up in your marriage? Did it have a part to do with the, the demise? Kind of break that down a bit. It did not actually, <laughs> surprisingly enough, that had nothing to, to do with it. Surprisingly. Okay. Um, typically. How long does. have you all had been married? 14 at years. At that time? 14. Before well, at first? that time. No, no, no. No, at your At my first, we were only married two years. Okay, mm -hmm. gotcha. We were only married two. Um, and it did not, and I think it did not, um, because my ex-husband's mother was in a nursing home. She, when he was 15, she had an aneurysm, mm. and it placed her, she was incapacitated, so it placed her in a nursing home. So from 15 until she passed, she was in a nursing home, and others had to take care of her. So he's always seen that. Okay. And I never, he's always been active, um, take really good care of the boys. Um, and there are some flawed areas. Sure. Let me be clear there. There okay. are flawed, and, and even in me. And at the time, we were more so struggling with communicating because okay. we both have similar backgrounds that we've come from. And so at that time, we were both in a broken place. So before your children. Right. Okay. But because we were just living, we were kids. I was about to say, how we're old were you all then? Tw early twenties. Okay. So, early 20s. um, went before, so you were married two years before your firstborn, right. but you were already having those challenges. Right. Of communication. communicating. Right. Sure. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Right. Um, for me, when I made the decision to do something different because what I had been doing wasn't working, mm -hmm. that's when I start, started to see, oh, we really are not on one accord. Okay. I've been kind of living in this fairy tale. Wait a minute now. <laughs> okay. Hold okay. on. I'm waking up. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm waking up. Yeah. Um, I just think we ended up, you have one that wants to grow and one doesn't. Sure. Yeah. You can't do nothing with it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And if there's unwillingness, I'm I'm unwilling to go backwards. Mm -hmm. You're unwilling to come this way. Now we got to make a decision. Yeah. Now we got to see how this is going to look and okay. where we go from here. So how do you make, okay, so when you all decided to either separate and or divorce, it was 14 years? 14. Wow. So how do you make that kind of decision in the midst of everything happening at that time? I was... I was so gun hold on doing something different for myself that I was willing to do it under by any means necessary. Okay. And so you're going to get me. Um, okay. 
No worries. Because it's not the divorce. It's I want women to understand that it's okay. Because okay. for so long, I didn't think it was okay. Because I was living based on what others thought I should do. Mm -hmm. And not what truly I wanted to do. Mm. I was like, okay, I got this son who has special needs. I got to try to make this shit work. Mm -hmm. And I was willing to sacrifice me. And that's the part I'm crying at because okay. it's still hard to believe that I was allowing myself to get lost. Okay. In a place where I was like, what am I doing? Speak to the woman who was in that place but doesn't know how to get out of it and know how to make a call the way that you got to. When you're scared, but you know that ain't it, that's when you move. What do you think scares people the most? Not knowing because you're so used to the dysfunction. Mm. It's like the possibility that you could have something different because mm. you're so busy. You're caught in the pain and you, you're like, God, I wish. And then when, you, when you're given a glimpse, you're like, oh, it's a possibility. But do I really want that? Because mm -hmm. I know this. I know if I argue with him, we're going to do this move. It's going to lead here. I know this chaos, but over here, I don't sure, know it. I don't know that. So if I leave this, at least I know how to move. Over here, I don't know how to move. Mm. That's, the, that's the piece. Mm -hmm. But when you get to a place where you have fallen so deep below the ocean, you don't know if you can get out because you're drowning. You got to move because you ha you're a dead man walking at that point. You've sold your soul. Mm -hmm. You can't live. Mm -hmm. You're just surviving at that point. Mm. So how does one get to the place where they know they're drowning? Because there's so many people drowning that they don't when know it. When you can't it. breathe, wow. I could not breathe. It was even just voicing things, my voice was diminished mm. because the weight was so heavy. Mm. And it wasn't the burden of my son. It was enduring the disrespect. The, okay. And then you start to fight in ways just to just pulling stuff mm. to try to make it work. Okay. Okay. When I realized that I was working with someone who he loves me, but he just quit. He quit. Why do you think he quit? The pressure. It's just the pressure. The pressure of? His ability to have to be a man and provide. Yeah. Okay. And he wasn't gifted that. Now, here's I, I've known him since I was a kid, so he wasn't gifted those tools. Okay. He wasn't. Now, he's a, let me be clear. Yeah. Phenomenal individual. But he did not have what he needed to execute the role that he was in. Mm-hmm. So mm. I had to make a decision for the both of us. For the both of you. Because I knew if I had not, we would keep the cycle of what I always said I never wanted for my kids. So speak to the man and the woman. You're in that particular situation. You're more conscious. You're, yeah. you're more aware of going what's going on. Yeah. And how it's affecting the two of you. Right. Speak to the couples out there, both married and maybe they're just in a long-term relationship where one person is more conscious and they see that what's going on is the demise of right. the two of us. Speak to them where they just are still trying to find the strength to walk away because they still see the potential. It's hard to do that because I literally had to get to a place where I was just sick and tired. Because even when people were telling me to leave, even when people were like, you know, girl, it, it, it could be better and you should do this. It was still for me. I had to wait until the wall hit me in my face just one too many times. Mm. And, the, and because I was going through a lot of my own healing and, and, and meditation and just really starting to understand me, I just simply, there was li literally one day we were arguing and I remember hearing my meditation coach saying, you got to be okay with people's perspectives. Okay. Uh-huh. Yes. You got to be okay with that. And when I, 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 as I'm arguing with him, I'm like, Libra, you are fighting to be right. Okay. Stop. Okay. Okay. This is where you stop. Mm -hmm. And that was the day I said, you have got to go. 
So this is not going to work. Were you feeding because listening to you, is, yeah. it reminds me of my mind frame, yeah. right? But that's a conscious, that's right. someone who's consciously right. aware. Right. And a lot of people work on autopilot. Right. Were you feeding yourself during that time? Positivity? Yes. yes. Like, okay. I was in, I was literally in my weight loss journey, self-discovery, switching up how I was handling situations, being more aware, um, learning that I do have boundaries. And this is what, and I've been letting people just do whatever they wanted to do. So mm -hmm. these are, I'm learning these things. Mm -hmm. And as I'm going, it's like, oh, I've been accepting. Oh, so when we argue like this, this is okay. These are things that I have been accepting to. These, sure. This is always gone on. This is not like it just showed up. Mm -hmm. I just was okay with it because mm -hmm. I was in a delusion myself, right? right? But when I started to understand my worth and my value, it was like, well, no, I'm really not okay with this. Okay, okay. So that's when it started to be heavy because okay. I started to understand it wasn't okay. Now, before I understood that it wasn't okay, mm -hmm. we were all good. Right. It was great. But the moment it clicked that this is not okay, this really does make you feel away. Right. You're just not saying it makes you feel away. Right. That's when it was okay. And it was a slow process because even when I was still waking up, I went into overdrive. Well, if I did this, then this might work. Okay, that didn't okay. work. Well, if I do this, this may work. Jeez. Well, then that didn't it. Well, then let me try this. While you're doing everything yes. else. And my spirit always said, keep trying. I'll let you know when to stop. Mm. It wasn't time for me to stop. It wasn't. Are you sure? I'm positive. Okay. Because I would have, when I walked away, I walked away with a forgiving heart. Okay. Now, okay. am I okay with some of the actions that he exuded? Sure. Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. And even right. now, I have, I, I'm not okay with some of his actions. Sure. But I walked away because I'm the girl and I've always been this girl. I'm going to give you every chance up front because mm -hmm. I'm a believer in a human being child. I believe that people have the ability to change. I believe in all of that. Mm. But when I walk away, I'm walking away okay because sure. I've given everything I've got. You exhausted all options. Avenues, whether they were right, wrong, or indifferent. So let's talk about, I had a conversation with someone a few weeks ago. Okay. And they've known they should have walked away a while ago. But they battle and they struggle with loyalty. Mm. And walking away mm. means you are just the worst mm -hmm. of the worst. Mm -hmm. Because you don't leave someone that perhaps with you staying there, you staying there could possibly get them to the place where they have just destined to be. Like speak to that. I speak about loyalty a lot. But Only I'm if gonna... reciprocated. Only. See, the problem is, is that we forget that it has to be reciprocated. Mm -hmm. So we forget it ain't loyalty you're being used. Thank you. It's using mm -hmm. because it's not reciprocated mm -hmm. because loyalty is a reciprocation. So mm -hmm. if I tell you, and, and I'm this girl, my word is my bond. Uh -huh. I'm her. Uh -huh. Now, if it's not reciprocated, now I'm going to rethink some things mm -hmm. because I, li I live by that. Yeah. I am loyal to principles. Yes. I am not loyal to people. No. So when I say principles, that means, you know, our journey may have come to an end. Yes. However, your secrets end with me. There you go. Right. There you I am go. loyal to that principle that when you shared those things with me, it you shared them with me in confidence yep. and you expect them to not go anywhere. Right. And so just because we are no longer buddy, buddy right. or whatever, that doesn't mean that I go and start spreading right. your business. Exactly. Right? It's all love. Exactly. It's all love. Or we may fall out. Our journey still, has ended, but I still have love for you. There you go. So if your children need something, you should always know. That I'm not can. coming to kick it with you. Right, but you know. I'm not about to tell you my personal business. Right. But if your children need something or you need something that's dire straits, you should know because you should know the woman that I am. I am loyal to principles. I'm a woman of principle. Yes. That you can call me. And there's nothing held over your head. Nobody's going to know your business. Nobody's going to even know I helped you or I came through. Or they might just see me just show up in support. Right. It's your kid's birthday. Right. 
they know they're like i thought they weren't talking and she came to her birthday yep yep and that's it we ain't having no conversation about it i'm a i'm a woman of principles and i'm loyal to principles yes. i'm not loyal to people no. family or otherwise that part that part mm -hmm. and i had to get there because i was doing i was loyal to someone who did not know how to do that in yeah. return yeah. because his whole life had been hustling to get to the next sure, day. Gotcha. Right. So when I decided to walk away, I walked away. Okay. Mm. Because it was, you can reach for me mm. and I got you. Mm -hmm, I can't mm -hmm. do the same mm -hmm. cause I got to fight alone. Mm -hmm. And when you need to fight, I'm there. There's a problem here. Mm -hmm. I'm not safe. Yeah. But you are. So now I got to reevaluate. Is this loyalty or am I being used? Sure. And it's not, I, I don't think it was intentional. Uh, uh, yeah. That's just how so, you, you've been accustomed to operating in, in that space. So I always tell people, like, sometimes there are low down people, right? Yes. They are yeah, intentionally intentional. trying to get over and whatever. But I believe that the majority of people operate in autopilot. Yes. They're operating out of survival yes. techniques and strategies from their childhood that yes. had nothing to do with them. Yep. And they're not necessarily meaning. And then they may have been in relationships prior to or, right. or you know, in your circumstance, they might not. They were probably too young to even way of previous <laughs> relationship on anything. Right. But some who are older were in relationships prior that did not require them to step up that. and be the best of themselves. So they're used to being, they're yes. accustomed to not being their best. Right. Because it was acceptable, right? Yes. And then they get with someone like yourself, like myself, and now all of a sudden they have to step up and realize that they have not gotten there yet. Yes. Right? But yep. they're in a whole relationship. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Right. I want to get, um, go back to, to, to the children. Okay. Um, and, and, and still keeping in, you know, context of your marriage, Sure. how was, you know, how was the help when it came to a marriage? Cause we'll talk about you as a single mom, but as a marriage, how was the help when it comes to, you know, raising your two children from him? Great. Okay. Um, he's the, the boys love them. They okay. live for him, you know especially they for their dad, honey. They do, honey. I get, listen. As soon as daddy know, come I, around, I, swear, I get, listen. I swear, like, who, who, who's mommy? Listen. But they gonna call love. us one when they listen. really listen. need something, okay? Listen, <laughs> when daddy come around, I get no love, okay? Exactly. I am the lame parent. <laughs> um, he's, they love their dad. They love him. And I don't interfere with that. I you know, that. it's like, you got to answer to them. Yeah, you, I love that. They, they'll draw their own. I don't have to feed them nothing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. You have to be accountable to them. If he got, a, if Lyric has a question, you got to answer that. Mm -hmm. I'm not daddy. That's you. Yes. So when he comes, I'm going to send him. Why does daddy? Let, let's get him on the phone and ask him. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> right. I know. That's right. Yeah, so yeah, that's, I don't, I just, I, I got into a place where, I just let life do life sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, I was such, and in my role, because sometimes we don't take accountability, but I do. Sure. Um, I'm, I'm mouthy, you know, I'm, I'm a sassy girl, <laughs> honey. I am. Listen, I will turn it out. Listen, she is lit out here in these streets. Okay? <laughs> She's lit. And I misuse my power. Okay. I did. I mean, I cut my, my father you know, I is love lit. The transparency. In my, the my mama lit. My daddy lit. I'm lit. My brother's lit. We are lit. Okay. So, <laughs> so my first instincts, you know, at that time in a relationship was if you don't hear me, we, we, we going to turn it up in here and ain't nobody going to bed until I'm happy. Yeah. I'm trying not to <laughs> scream in here. That is so funny. Okay, so tell me, um, what is a typical life when you're when you are being a, a mom and a parent of um, your oldest son, who is who has uh, cerebral, cerebral palsy, mm -hmm. and your youngest? How old is your youngest? Five. Oh my goodness. Fifteen and five. And he's they're both both your children are so adorable. Thank you. Um, um, who was diagnosed with autism, autism. what 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 2017 what 2017 okay. he was well, how old is he now what is it he's five so two something like that <laughs> 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 okay, so when he was yes. two, yeah. So that's younger than. Uh, so, so I think when going back to you know my nephew, yes. I was one of those that pushed it a little bit longer because I'm like I know I kind of 
you know, I have my kids on this and that, right. so I can't really judge. Right. But then it got to a certain point where, okay, so I know because I see other children right, now, right. not my children, but other children. But two, well, how did you know so young? You know, with having a son with that's medically fragile, you kind of pay attention to a lot so now you're, of things. Now you're aware. And so there was some, I'm like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, my radar is going off. Okay. Wait a minute. And then I just, at, at one. And I said, well, let me give it a minute. One? Yeah. Even one? Even one. Okay. Um, And honestly. Like what? Hand flapping. Okay. Just um, other kids be around and he'll grab his things and go right on. Like, got gotcha. uh, you. Not don't paying do me. No don't, mind. Do, don't do it. <laughs> no, ma'am. Don't do me. Okay, 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 okay. Um, sensory. He would just certain noises. He would just. Ha- it would just send gotcha. him over. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know this. I know this. My oldest has sensory. Sure. So it was. You know, I was seeing little things, but then I just said, you know what? Well, wait. Let me give it one more year because I could be on edge with my sure, oldest. Sure, sure, sure. So I just want to make sure. And when I it, it started to really be prominent, I'm like, okay. Okay. Let's get it looked at. Okay. Yeah. All right. So go through now that you have 15 year old and a five year old. Mm-hmm. What is a typical day for you? <laughs> Let the people know, honey. <laughs> Let the, because you are very involved. I am. Okay. I'm up at four every morning. She's a wee. I'm, I'm just four. rolling over for another few <laughs> hours. <child. laughs> I'm up at four. I'm doing um, diaper changes, okay. medicine, cleaning what up. What time groom. do you go to bed? when they let me how about that don't start now (laughs) when they maybe one maybe two i'm exhausted yeah just from the four one o'clock to the four o'clock i'm exhausted yeah okay yeah that's i mean it is my oldest i gotta make sure he good you know if uh, he yeah he might need suctioning he might stop breathing i mean that's just the reality he's medically fragile so my i mean with a medically, and even children on, on the spectrum, depending upon the severity, you know, sure, you might be sure. getting no sleep, you know, because of their on sensory overload. So okay. fortunately for me, you know, my five-year-old is great in the sleeping department, but okay. my oldest, he needs a little bit more attention. So I'm checking, I'm up, I'm looking in the monitor. I'm, mm-hmm. I don't sleep heavy because I got to know okay. if he make a noise, I got to, yeah, uh-huh. I got to be there. So uh-huh. sleep is scarce. So that's why health and wellness is big for me because yes. I'm, I'm fitness was big for me. <laughs> it yes. had to be. Yes. Yeah. The demands required. It. I saw a post that you did, um, not too long ago about your fitness journey, Yes, but you know, a part of the fitness journey was how, because you have to have the strength yes. to be able to pick up and move around. Kind of talk about that a bit. Yes. So my oldest, because he is medically fragile, he requires 100% care. He has to have somebody that does everything for him. So okay. I have to, if you don't have proper equipment, which that's a long story. And in short, you know, there were some contractors that stole the money and never came in. They did other work for me, but this particular project, they just ran off with the money and that was it. Wow. So he never got the bathroom that he needed. Mm, so gotcha. When that happened, I was just kind of like, all right, well, I get, I mean, something, something got to go down because I ain't got the money. I didn't, I sure. didn't listen. <laughs> and, and he need a bath and, right. you know, she got to keep going. So right. I guess right. I got to do what I got to do. And it is what it is. It's, okay. Or not do it. And this is where we're at, you know, okay. and I just could, as a mom, I was yeah. like, no, true. we ain't going to be able that to do that. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> whatever we got to do, here we go. <laughs> Suit up and do it. Yes. <laughs> so yes. that's what it is. Yeah. All right. So when it comes to, okay, so you're up at four. Mm -hmm. So where does the me time come in? Between four and six, I'm meditating. Okay. Um, Thinking. By six, I'm out the bed, Mm -hmm. and that's when I get my day started. But Mm -hmm. from four to six, that's all about me. Somebody said we don't sleep. (laughs) All right. Shout out Derek, honey. (laughs) I got to. Oh, I got to get some sleep. Yeah, yeah, yo, no, it's real, you know, and, yeah. I, and I'm great. Look, if I get an hour, because as I'm parents, we already don't sleep, listen, depending on their age. Listen. And then even when they get older, you're worried and you stuff. Still worried. I can't yeah. take it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, so between four and six, and you're meditating, and mm-hmm. then then and how's then the rest six of it? is that's when I get up and I open up my house, okay. and then I let the dogs out, and then I get the kids. Right when they get up, I'm getting them out to bed, but I make sure I set the tone for my day. Okay, so tell me, you know, 
you have school age kids. I do. Are they homeschooled? Are they in school? What Both are your of thoughts them. on what are So your thoughts on my that? youngest, I officially withdrew him. He's homeschooled. Okay. My oldest is digital learning. Okay. Um, so he logs in. But digital learning before pandemic or what was he before? Well, he was in school, but okay. pandemic we made. So yeah. let's let's go before pandemic. Um, he was in school. He and, was. and what are your thoughts on that? Like what are your He loves it. Okay. Um, you gotta let other people love on him. Mm. I need the brave. I need people to love I on had him. This conversation with a friend earlier. Yes, yeah, school was great prior mm-hmm. to the pandemic. School <laughs> yeah. was great. Gone. Yes, because I can go to bed. I want my kids to go back to school. Okay, <laughs> I can't wait. I, I told them. I said Gwinnett County said y'all back. That y'all they back, did, and y'all going. That okay? part. That, that part. part right there. 